Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe okay and that continuing to strive you brothers that continue to strive continuing to fight for your salvation because nobody else is going to do it for you nobody else is going to do it for you okay this lesson is going to be today i want to do some really 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 edifying lessons and lord willing this lesson will be edifying but i've got a few things i want to um bring out today a lot of things and it's beginning with this lesson is going to be based on the pharisees why were they so hell-bent why were they so why were they so um what's the word what's the word what's the word why were they so excuse me adamant in coming up against Yahweh Shai. these questions need to be asked because a lot of the times we read the scriptures we read upon Esau what Esau was doing but why was the Pharisees because Esau we know when Yahweh Shai was on the scene the Roman Empire was in rulership the Romans were our enemies but when you actually read the scriptures the majority of people that were coming up against Yahweh Shai were Israelites, Jews. So we need to read why these things were happening. Okay? Because have you ever asked yourself? You know, we talk about these other camps, GOCC, IUIC, that some say, oh, they're the Pharisees. They're the wicked Pharisees. But who's have you ever asked yourself? about Great Millstone. There could be Pharisees in Great Millstone. It's very highly likely, okay, it's very highly likely, okay, because it's not, see, Pharisees, they're not just like it unto one group, okay, and they had pull, they had power, okay, and what was the Pharisees? They were a group of men, a body of men, okay, similar to the Boule, they had their own thing going, okay, so we're going to start on Proverbs 11 and 5. The thoughts of the righteous. Okay, and you know what's happening? It says the thoughts of the righteous are right. Because the elect, you have an elect up on this earth, their thoughts are going to be what? Their will is going to be towards Yahweh Shai. That's our will to serve Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. Okay, and it says, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The Pharisees was a council of men that were under what? Esau, that were sitting on them high seats. That's what the Pharisees were. Okay, see a lot of men, they would read the scripture and think, the counsel of the wicked, wicked are deceit, Esau. Okay, yeah, it refers to Esau, but it also refers to the wicked of our people that were on them seats and who 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 gave them them seats Esau gave them them seats you when we're reading the scripts you got to read it with a spiritual mind what happened back 2000 years ago is happened again today same thing the same thing and they were acting holier than I but they were wicked inwardly they were wicked Verse 6, the words of the wicked, excuse me, the words of the wicked are to lay in wait for blood. So even the Pharisees, they had a forked tongue, okay, and their whole objective was to lay in what wait for what the righteous, okay, and lay in wait for blood. So they had the spirit of what? Murderers. That's why Yahweh Shai said in John 8 and 44, we may get into that. Ye of your father, the devil, and the loss of your father, will ye do? They had that, that, had that, say, that same mentality. That same mentality. 
the spirit of a murderer. That's why they were always, every time Yahweh would speak, they would get cut to the heart. They were looking to grab him up. So where are these individuals back, back today? They're back here today in the truth, playing out their role, doing the same thing. Bucking up against men of the Lord. And these men are going to be in high seats. And they're going to be what? Talking down to men that are of low seats. On the, on the low seat. Because they, don't, they think the men that are on the low seat are nothing. But that's why the scripture says the Lord uses the weak things to confound the wise. Them Pharisees, they were wise, but they were wise in their own conceit. They were wise according to the, to, according to the law. Okay? But they're not, they were not wise in faith. They, they never had faith. It was, all, it was all an act. It was all an act. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. So the mouth of the upright are going to be speaking what? Yahweh Shai. You've got many men, they could bring out all this other information, but they can't bring out Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they're against Yahweh Shai. They may bring out little bits of Yahweh Shai here and there. But mostly, they're not really speaking about Yahweh Shai. That's the, that's the foundation of our faith. That's the foundation of our faith. So if you're not speaking of Yahweh Shai, what are you speaking of? The world. And there was a reason why they hate, had that hate for Yahweh Shai. Let's go to... Um, this is John. Bear me just the pages are ripping. John 11. And let's go straight to this when Yahweh done this miracle when he healed what Lazarus. Let's start at let's start at 44. And he was that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. Okay. And his face was bound with a napkin. Yahweh shall say unto them. Loose him and let him go. Okay. And this was who was this referring to? Lazarus. When Yahabashah he worked that miracle. Okay. But he was what? Made alive. Okay. And he had to take the people out of the room. Why? Right? Because they had no faith. They were giggling. They were laughing. Okay. And it says, Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Yahabashah did believed on him so yes you had Pharisees that actually did believe in Yahweh Shai not all the Pharisees were wicked we're not saying that okay but a large majority of them were then this is verse 46 but some of them see so there was others these were the ones that were wicked went their ways departed but they, they knew each other so it says went their ways one here one there another there to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahweh Shai had done. So it's going to be the same thing in the truth today. You may even be at camp with individuals. And after camp, you may be working great miracles or whatever in the spirit. And an individual may, may report to what? Some Pharisees. Because the Pharisees also had, um, they also set up people. They also set spies up as well. Because they had a bit of pull. And it says, then gathered the chief priests. And the Pharisees a council. So hold on a minute. It says council, and we just went into the word council. The council of the wicked are deceit. A council. Because what? A fa the Pharisees were a council, a body of men. You type in that word Pharisee, it, it it describes them to a T. Okay, they were all about outside. What's it? Pi piety, outside godliness, a form of godliness, having a form. They um, they were loved by the world. Okay. By the world, not so much the world of Israel, by the world. Because they were worldly. And what else did it say? What else? When you go up into that word Pharisee, when you type it in, it says um and they had um six six over six thousand members. So all you gotta just look today, and you can also equate them with Great Millstone. I'm not saying every camp I'm not saying every camp is wicked. But you also you always have what the bad fruits in every camp. You also you always have the wicked in every camp. So it was a body of men, a tenant of men, I believe it said. Okay. Which were what against, and it says, which were against Yahweh Shai and his cause. 
So where are these men back, back today? They're in the truth. They're in the truth. Plotting, scheming, demonizing, slandering the men of the Lord only to their own destruction. And said, what do we, in other words, what are we gonna do? For this man doeth many miracles. Why would they be saying, what do we? What can we do? So there's brothers in this faith that the Holy Spirit is dealing with them. They're lowly. And the men that have the outside, the Pharisees that have the outside appearance and all that rubbish, they don't have the spirit. That's why everything they do is, is outwardly. So if they, don't, if they have all that other stuff but they don't have the spirit, they're going to be hating on the men that the Holy Spirit is dealing with. You see how it works? You, you, you understand what I'm saying now? Is it making a bit more sense? This is how it works. They're going to be hate on, hating on you because they have followers. They have a large gathering, but one thing they're lacking, which is the most important thing, is the Holy Spirit. Bear me just a minute. An uh, airwick here. Move this out of the way. They have everything but the Holy Spirit. So, again... What's, what's, what's the outcome going to be? They're going to be slandering those that have the spirit. Okay. Only to their own demise. Okay. And it says, if we let him thus alone, if we leave him, okay, and let him be, all men will believe on him. Okay. So there was a fear. When Yahweh was doing these things, the Pharisees didn't want those Israelites, those that were hearing, to believe on Yahweh Shai. That's demonic. So they didn't want they didn't want the people to believe in Yahweh Shai. But these same individuals would be the first ones to say the most high, the most high. You see the hypocrisy? High levels of hypocrisy. The Pharisees were were were, 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 were um, what's it, famous for hypocrisy. They were known for high levels of hypocrisy. All men would believe on him. So they didn't want those to believe on him. Because if they if more people were to believe on him, guess what? Their position would be taken away. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So they had a place okay within Esau's system, the Roman Empire. They were, they were set up. They were set up. It's, it's, it's not just like, they were not set up by Yahweh Shai. Well, you know what, you know what, Yahweh Shai controls everything. So yeah, they were set up by Yahweh Shai ultimately. But I'm talking about in the means of them being set up by Esau. Because you have some individuals, they were actually Esau. The scriptures say, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Esau has power to slide up men, to set up particular men, okay, masons, whatever you want to call them, into the truth. He has that power, why? Because the earth is given into the, into the hand of the wicked. And the scripture says, when the, um, when the vilest, when, when, um, when the wicked are exalted, the vilest men, when the wicked are in rule, the vilest men are exalted. Okay. So the vilest men are going to be exhorted. And who's that? The Pharisees. They're the vilest men. They're going to be exhorted. What in particular positions? Esau, all right, you stay there. I'm going to put you in this group. We're going to put you in that group. Okay. And we're going to have you be uh, some uh, overseer over Israel. But they're not the true prophets. Okay. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest, the same year said unto them, You know nothing at all, not consider it. It's expedient that one man should die for this people. That was prophecy in itself. And that the whole nation shall not perish. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahabashai should die for that nation. Okay. So the Pharisees, they were on to Yahabashai. Just like when you say... You have men saying, I'm onto him. Yeah, the Pharisees, they were onto Yahweh Shai. They could not help it. Because they're, they're of their fathers. 
So if you're one of them wicked Pharisees that are back here bucking up against the prophets, there's nothing you can do to stop that. That's your makeup. That's how you've been set up. Okay. So we're going to jump straight to... um. Whoever's we continue going and not for that nation only, but also he sh get, shall gather together in one the truth of the most high that was scattered abroad the Israelites and northern tribes also. Then from that day forth they took counsel. From that day from that see it was a particular day. They took counsel again together to put him to death. Did it did, did this say Romans? No, it said they took counsel, what Israelites? To put him to death. A lot of you don't really read the Bible. A lot of men, even a lot of so-called leaders in Israel are not really bringing this out. Why aren't, they, why aren't they bringing these scriptures out? Scriptures tell you to eat the whole roll. This is part of the whole roll. Okay. And that's why I don't, I don't have that spirit of look at every, every uh, the brotherhood. The brotherhood. The brotherhood are the, those that are doing the will of Yahweh Shai. Those that were with Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because not everybody that was teaching this truth was with Yahweh Shai back then. You had some that were against Yahweh Shai and those that were with him. And those that were with him, they're going to be showing that in their works. Those that, are, that were against him, they're going to be showing that in their works. Yahweh Shai therefore walks no more openly among the Jews. So again, he wasn't out on Front Street. He says he walked no more openly. So there was times the Abishai, he had to teach in not secret, secret locations. He couldn't not be openly because he had Jews that were after him. Jews that were plotting on him, that had Satan on them. Satan was dealing with them. But thence unto a country near to the wilderness. So again, it says the country near to the wilderness. Okay, and there was a lot of times he had was in the wilderness. See, that's where he's, a lot of his downtime was the wilderness, reflecting, thinking upon things, what he had to go through. Into a city called Ephraim, and they continued his disciples, and the Jews' Passover was nigh at hand, and many went out into the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover. To purify themselves, cleanse themselves. Then sought they for Yahweh Shai. So again, they were sorting him what, during the Passover. Wicked. And spake among themselves as they stood in the temple. So they were actually in the temple waiting for Yahweh Shai. What think ye that he will not come to the feast? So they were plotting. They were plotting, pre planning. This is, this is meditation. They were, see, this is what you've got to understand. We're not going to sugarcoat our people because our people are wicked. I thought, I thought, you know what? You can call it I was being um, a bit naive. I thought, yeah, it's naivety coming into this truth that, you know, when you're in the world, you see niggers, there's niggers in the world. You'd think you'd come into this truth and they wouldn't be no niggers. That's what I thought. I didn't think it would be that bad. But you come into the truth, you realise the things I've seen in this truth are actually much worse than the things I've seen in the world. How men, how, how men move. It's actually worse, the corruption, the level of corruption. And all, just, just all types of sorcery, all these different things. Men, men will lie on you. Remember, remember I uh, hand you over to the governors. Remember, try to get you locked up. So the reality of the scriptures is, is, ve is very real. It's very real. This ain't, this ain't fake. All the things I'm reading in the scriptures are happening now. All the things I'm reading, men are doing right now. This is not a game. This is serious. This is deadly serious. And where was I? And they sought for Yahweh and spoke among themselves as they stood in the temple. What think ye? That he will not come to the feast? Because we're in this time, and this is why you've got to be circled, there's men that are planning. Planning things. Okay? Planning, scheming. 
But the men of the Lord, they don't need to be worried about that because Yahweh is in control. He controls man. Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were, Yahweh Shai, he should show it. So you're gonna have men that do that in the truth as well. Yeah, um, would you give us this, would you give us his email address? You even got men, why, why, why are men doing that in the truth? Men, sh you shouldn't, if, you, if you're a leader in the camp, you shouldn't be asking for nobody's email address. All right, you understand WhatsApp, what email address? Yeah, give us his email address. You know, would you give it, bro, the Lord sees everything. Just because I don't speak on certain things straight away, you think the Lord don't see? But the Lord, made, the, the Yahweh Shai made you do that. You've got men, all types of things, going to police stations. All of a sudden, they, 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 they just get arrested by police every day. Come on, man, we know what's going on. You've got men giving, giving, giving information to the police. But Yahweh Shai set you up just so he could destroy you. All you, you look, you, it's all right, it's all right. You're just going to have to come back in the kingdom in shame. Okay, you was a false brethren. And they had given commandment that if any man knew where he were, so it's the same, so if it was back then, it's going to be the same thing today. Individuals that are of that ilk, they're going to be saying, where is he? Would you give him a commandment of us? Send spies out. Tell us where he is. Tell us where he's going. Tell us where he lives. Tell us where he resides. Tell us where his town is. Look for people in his town. Okay, gather false witnesses. Look for people he grew up with, okay? Bring an evil report on him, okay? Go to his town. The Lord's going to destroy you for that. Don't you understand? Because the same people that are doing that, they're going to be destroyed because they're of the world. That's why I always say, nobody can come to me from out of the world and say, this person done that, this person done this. Because it's nothing but what? False allegations, false accusations. And the scriptures tell you that in the last days there shall be what? False accusers. The Pharisees, they were known for that. Setting up witness against Yahweh Shai. Not just Yahweh Shai, and the disciples as well. So all these things were going to happen to the men of the Lord again today. Okay? And if any man knew where he were, he should show it that they might take him. So what? Grab him. Okay? So all these things were happening. This is this is not this is not a joke. This is real. This is the reality of the truth. The apostles touch on videos on this from time to time. This is the reality. Okay. They had a high following. They were about this kingdom. They were not about establishing Yahweh Shai. They were about this kingdom. So therefore, if they were about this kingdom. That means they were against Yahweh Shai. Let's quickly go to James. I hope this topic has brothers thinking. That's why these lessons are done. So you can think. Okay. And be like, oh man, I didn't see it that way. Let's go to James. They are about the world, upholding this world. And therefore, that made them what enemies of Yahweh Shai. Let's go to James. And they were seeking there, they were glory hunters as well. You know? They were fakers, they were not real. They were not moved by the spirit. Because if you were moved by the spirit, you need you wouldn't need to do all this um, other pretentious um stuff. Okay. You wouldn't need to do that. Seek validation from this world. When you're validated, who validates you? Yahweh Shai. This is what men don't understand. You want to be validated by men, wicked men, that are corrupt themselves. That they don't even know if they they don't even know if they're of the elect. They they don't even know. That's why you want to be validated by Yahweh Shai. Here it is, you don't even know if you're of the elect, but you're backing up against men that could be of the hopeful elect. How does that work? Okay. There was a lot of corruption that the Pharisees were doing. And corruption's on every levels. Okay, it's on all levels in the society, but they were corrupt. They were not dealing with true judgment. They were not dealing with that. Okay. And if you weren't a part of their clique, their posse, then you would um you'd be outcasted. 
and they would what demonize you it's the same thing that's going on again today okay you got men they're doing videos and they can't even a lot of them they can't even show their face and when some do show their face there's a dark dark dismal evil countenance okay the house of david is waxing stronger and the house of Saul is waxing weaker let's go to james baba kasha james 4 and for ye adulterous and adulteresses and our nation is a nation of adulterers and adulterers is okay different fathers know ye not that the friendship of the world okay so he's talking about the friendship of the world the pharisees they were friends of the world why because they had a position in the world so if you have a position in this world that would make you a friend of the world so when Yahabashai came on the scene they were very um what's the word what's the word what's the word they were not subjective to who he was they were objective to Yahabashai and his cause so they're not that means they were not for the heavenly father and his cause that means they were hypocrites you see how it works they were the, they were they were you want to talk about it they were hypocrites they were not for Yahabashai's cause the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. What does enmity mean? Friction, variance. So they were at variance with Yahavashai and the Heavenly Father, who they claim to believe. Whosoever therefore be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. So if you're at friendship with this world, your companion, and that word for friend is companion, with this world, that would make one an enemy of Yahabashai. No matter how you slice it. Because that would mean therefore you're upholding this world. So again, how could you be against LGBT, Satanism, all this all these different forms of wickedness if you have a part of this world? You see you, 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 this way you got you got you really gotta think. That means you're upholding them ways, even if you're so-called speaking against it. You're still upholding them ways because you have a higher position in this world. And when you have a higher position in this world, what do you got to do? Sacrifices on the left hand side. That's why you had at winter time, you had men in the truth that were what, dabbling and dibbling in all forms of sorcery. In the truth, in Great Millstone. Just look, just look at, just, just watch the videos. Okay. You got men doing videos with a demonic laugh. <laughs> with a demonic laugh. Dark countenance. Men have been taken over. Men have given themselves over to left. Well, no, you know what? No, no, you know what? It's not men. Yahabashah has given them over to that. Because that's their lot. But the hopeful elect, we want to pray that we, we were those that were with Yahabashah that were on his side. Not, not were against him. That's a fearful thing. To be teaching this truth and to know you were against Yahabashah. Whosoever will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. So that would make you an enemy. And the Pharisees that were on the high seats, they were enemies of Yahweh Shai, but they were put they were they were using that name, but they were using it to push their own their own but their own agenda. Themselves. They were not about Yahweh Shai, they're about vainglory. You know? Shalom. You know, you know. Yeah, well, well, we got the brotherhood. What about Yahabashai? It's okay, alright, we talk about Volcan and we speak about what about Yahabashai? And when you actually bring out Yahabashai and these particular scriptures, that's when you that's when the, you start to see the demons start twitching in men. You know? Why? Because they were against Yahabashai. If you have a good conscience towards Yahabashai, these words what I'm reading, it's not going to bother you. But if you were against Yahabashai, then guess what? Them demons are going to start getting all agitated. Do you, do, do you not think the scriptures say if in vain the spirit dwelleth in us, lust if the envy? And that's the spirit of the world. And the scriptures tell you. That they, um, the Pharisees were moved, we can get to that as well, they were moved with envy. And you do know the Pharisees were very covetous. And they were moved, man, 
So they were very envious as well. Me and this truth, I could look at the camera wholeheartedly and said, in this truth, I've never been envious of no brother in this truth. Never. I've never had the reason to be envious of any brother on the tr in this truth. You know? You see your brother doing good, you, you, wish him, you wish him good. Especially if you've seen him increase and it's like, yeah, that's my brother. If anything, I want to share his um, success, the good that he has. That's, that's a true brother. But you have that spirit of envy in the truth. Men that are claiming to be in the truth. Some five years, ten years, eleven, you even got leaders that are envious as well. That are corrupt. That are bad mind, that are red eyed. When you really read these scriptures with understanding the things that Yahweh was going through, it gives you a broader understanding of what's happening now. Because if you don't read these things, you're just going to be looking at everybody's video. Oh, everybody's, oh, he's got GMS on his title. Yeah, he's a brother. He's a righteous man. It doesn't quite work like that. You have men, great men in Great Millstone that were against Yahweh Shai in Great Millstone. The spirit dwelleth in us, lust if the envy, that's a lust, that's the flesh. And envy, what does envy bring? Hate, what does hate bring? Variance, what does variance bring? Murder, what is like a jealousy. And what does jealousy bring forth? Murder. And that's why Yahweh says, Ye of your father the devil, and the last of your father will ye do. He was a murderer from the beginning. There was no truth in him. When he speak of, when he speak of a lie, he speak of his own. The Pharisees, when they were speaking a lie, they were speaking of their own to try and catch Yahweh Shai up, to try and entangle with him. Okay? They were trying to box him in. You even got men that tried to do that at camp. Why don't you just teach the word? Why are you trying to, why are you trying to box a man in? You see what I mean? The spirit of fear. Fear. Because they're trying to install worldly fear into you because they don't have the faith. They, they're wicked themselves. So you really got to be circumspect in this time. Verse 6, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud. So grace is mercy. And that's what's being shown to the elect. Mercy. But the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So the humble is going to be shown that grace. The humble is going to be shown that mercy. Okay. The humble is going to be shown that mercy. Okay. Just making sure my device don't get too hot. Let me just a minute. The most high resisteth the proud. So he's resisting. So if you're proud in the truth, Yahweh is resisting you. And the proud, okay, a lot of them are going to be of them Pharisees because they're going to be proud against what the men that are lowly. Okay, so those that are being humiliated, they're being humiliated. You see how this works? By the Pharisees, by those that are in high places. They're looking down upon those that are in low places. Oh, he's low. Oh, look how many views. He ain't got no views. He can't be a man of the Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. Have you ever considered that, that Yahweh Shai hides his men away? Because something precious is valuable. So Lord, the true men of the Lord, they're going to be valuable. They're not going to be out there on Front Street. Yeah, they're going to be out on the highways and byways. But I'm talking about in Front Street as in 3,000, 2,000, 500, 600, 700, 800 subscribers. No, they're not going to have it like that. Every video, 50 likes, they're not going to have it like that. Because if that was happening to me, then I would need to question myself. There's something that's not right. If you're loved by the majority of this world, there's something that's not right. Because the scripture's telling you what Yahweh said and also what the prophets went through. You understand? And it says, But he giveth grace to the humble. And in this truth, you're going, if you're a true, if you're a true man of the Lord, you're gonna be, you're gonna go for, there's gonna be more humiliating situations then you're going to be exhorted if you understand what I mean you're going to go through more humiliation because the Pharisees right they're being exhorted on this side what unto you that have received your consolation that comes to mind see if we can find these scriptures as well bear me just a minute see if we can find these scriptures so they're being exhorted 
I don't want it on this side. I don't want that. Mm-mm-mm. Not sure where it is, where it is, where it is. Was it Luke 6? Am I, am I saying that you can't... I'm not, look, there's... Even even when it comes to... um This thing of men being exhorted. Can a man be exhorted in this world? In terms of Yahweh Shai exhorting you and be a man of the Lord? Yes. But that's Yahweh Shai exhorting you. I'm not I'm talking about self exhortation. If you need to self exhort yourself, then that means you don't really have it. That means there's something you're missing. Because if you have it, you don't need to exhort yourself. You wait for Yahawashai to exhort you in due time. But this it's about Yahawashai being exhorted. Not ourselves. It's about Yahawashai being exhorted. This is what men don't understand. Bow down to Yahawashai. That's why the scripture says every knee is going to bow, every tongue is going to confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord of Lords, Kings of Kings. All glory belongs to Him. All praises and glory and honors belong to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All, all of it. To what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? All praises go to him. We don't, we, man. We don't even deserve this opportunity for the things we've done. We don't even deserve it. We don't deserve it. Oh, wretched man that we are. Even on my best day, it's not good enough. And so lucky, brothers, as well, for the brothers that maybe are watching my videos and you may be thinking, why am I not doing as much as, as, as possible? I know I've been, I've been slacking a little bit. You know, I want to get back on track. See, that's another thing of um, keeping that pace. I remember once there was a time where I was doing five videos a day. I want to stick to that pace. So, you know, when you, you that's, that's the thing of um, repetition. Once you stop that repetition and everything you do, when you stop pumping weights, you start losing that muscle. So it is a thing of repetition. And I want to say another thing, Salakia, and first and foremost, Salakia Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because I want to do more. I want, I want to do more. I want to do more for Yahweh Shai. I want to do more for my brethren. I want to build up my brothers. You know what I'm saying? I can never do enough, and that's the mentality I have. And you having that mentality, that's a humble mentality to have. When I go out on the highways and byways, you may hear me shouting. I'm shouting because the scriptures. Lift up the voice like a trumpet. I'm not shouting to say, oh, look at me. I'm better than you. No. Because I've sinned. Pass. Okay. And now, even in the truth, guess what? I have sinned. I have committed sin. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I have transgressed. If you were to judge me by the flesh... No chance, and that's why if I was, that's why you gotta be um, grateful for the mercy of your Shai. Because if I was left into the hands of wicked men, then Pharisees, I'd be through. I'd be through. That's why when when I teach this word, I teach you to trust in men, and even when men say particular things, you gotta take everything with a pinch of salt. Even when you're at camp, because if you were to um. Just take on every everything on board what everybody would say. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have a mind of yourself. You wouldn't have a mind of your own. You'd worry. When I first came to the truth, I was I was kind of like that. Which is good because that, that's still that's still a fair. That means you're still um you're still open to hear what other men in the truth has to say. But certain things you have to take with a pinch of salt. Because if you don't do that, especially a man that's in a wicked mindset, he can cast demons on you. So you want to be cognitive of what men are saying, what applies, what applies to you. You take that, you run with it, you work on that and you improve. That's how I got to the state I was in. Because I was a listener, I was observing, listening. Okay. A lot of you had it easy. A lot of you in this truth had it, 
a lot of you, a lot of men in the street had it really, even men that came into the truth before me. I'm gonna say that boldly, even men that came into the truth before me, a lot of you had it easy. And this ain't a pity party, woe is me, anything. If I told some of you in this truth, what I've been, and I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to throw no pity party. If I told you some of the stuff that I've been through in this truth, you would not believe it. For someone that's been in the truth for a little time, you would not believe it. A lot of you would fall out. A lot of you would pass out. A lot of you would go right back into the world. A lot of you would go right back into the world. So these lessons I'm doing, it's not, it's not out of just, it's not out of um, a place of um, bitterness. It's, a it's from a place of experience. So take heed, if you're listening to these lessons, take heed to what I'm saying. A lot of you don't really have, you, in, to be in this truth, you need to have very, 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 very strong mental fortitude. Very strong mental fortitude to be in this truth. If you, if you, if you don't have strong mental fortitude, eventually you're going to be out of there. If I told you half of the stuff, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of you would um, pass out. Fact. Fact. Okay, so again, I found something in um, Stefan. And you should know about Stefan, a man of the Lord. Okay. Okay, he was moved in the spirit. Because you can't teach this truth unless you're moved in the spirit. Let's go to... Oh, I want to stop talking now. Let's go to Luke 6. And... You know what? Let's start at 6. And in those days when the number of disciples were multiplied. So, you do not... There's disciples in the... That were multiplied that not written in the scriptures you had many disciples that are not written in the scriptures see the scriptures only tells you about the 12 disciples and the other um followers and the helpers but there was other disciples disciples what is a follower of Yahweh Shai that are not mentioned in the scriptures all this is going to be Yahweh Shai is going to sit down with us and mention all this in the kingdom all of this there's not everything that Yahweh Shai done was to be fitted in the bible contained okay so it says, and in those days when the number of disciples was multiplied, there was a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Okay, because of their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Okay. Then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them and said, Is it not reason that we should have leave the word of the Most High and serve tables? Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report okay but and this is another thing there's such thing as an honest report because that's another thing if you have power if you have pull if you have rank you could easily say you know what I'm gonna file a, a wicked report an evil demonic report on this individual and I'm gonna phone up other individuals and say would you slander this guy so there's such thing as an honest report and what a, a, a wicked report okay full of the holy spirit and nobody can really give me a bad report because all i do is just teach the words that's all i'm doing just teaching the words do we slip and fall here do we have thoughts in the flesh yes but who don't an honest report full of the holy spirit okay so even for the men that were given an honest report and those that were seeking those that to give an honest report they were full of the holy spirit so they're the ones that should be given an honest report and those that are given an honest report they have to be of a low they have to be lowly you're supposed to really set the lowly to judge because they're more balanced you're not really supposed to set the the what those on the high seats to judge because they're not balanced they've become corrupted and wisdom who may appoint over this business because this truth is a business, this ministry is a business. But we will give ourselves continue to prayer and to the ministry of the word. So even in this word, you've got to give yourself what? To prayer, to fasting and the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude and they chose Stephen. Okay. A man full of faith. Okay. 
So they knew who to choose. They so when when you when you're choosing a particular man, you're choosing him because of his, because of his characteristics, godly characteristics. He was full of faith. Because you got men that are set up set over affairs in camps, and they're lukewarm. They're wicked. They've already been spewed out, but they've been set over affairs. How does that work? How does that work? Because that means all the, that means judgment is going to be completely wrong. Because you've got men that are set up that have lost the spirit. A man full of faith, the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Pro, um, Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, these were other disciples, and Parnamus, and Nicholas, a proselyte. A proselyte is a newcomer. And you know what the scripture said in Matthew 23? That they turn one as to what? A, a child of the devil, a proselyte, and turn them into a child of the devil. But this Nicola, Nicholas was not um, a child of the devil. He was a righteous man. A proselyte of Antioch. Okay, which is what? Where's that what region? Antioch, what is it? Syria? I believe it's Syria. Okay. Whom they set before the apostles. Okay. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of the Most High increased. So this word, the word was continually increasing. That's why there's nothing you can do to stop this word. It's going to increase. Okay. And it says, And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Okay, and a great company, okay, of priests were obedient to the faith. So you're gonna see again when you have a company of men to serve Yahweh, they need to be obedient. They need to. They can't be lukewarm. They were about the ministry day in day out, obedient to the faith. And Stephen was full of power, faith, and power through the Holy Spirit and did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of Libertines and Cyrenians, okay, and Alexandrians. These were individuals that were, were up in um, Egypt as well, because you had Israelites in Egypt. And of them of Cilicia and of Asia disputing with Stephen, debating, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and spirit by which he spake. So they could not resist it. They could not gain it. And the same with us. I've seen that. I've done videos. I've not. I've noticed this in, in Great Milson. There's videos I've done. Then you may be just wondering, you know, browsing about, watching other videos, seeing, just lis listening. And it's like, hold on a minute. These individuals trying to gain say what I say. I'm just bringing out the scripts. I ain't thinking. I ain't thinking about you. You think I've got time to wait? <laughs> but you have men in the truth that would do that. They want to gain say everything you say. Okay. And they what? And again, and they suborn men, which said we have heard. So they gathered men, which said we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses, and against the Most High. Okay, because they upheld what Moses. They were upholding the what the, the traditions of what the forefathers. It's one thing upholding the law, but upholding the traditions of men is two different things. Okay, you uphold the law because Yahweh Shai told you to keep the law. Okay, but you don't uphold the traditions of men, all the outward stuff. Okay, and they stirred up the people, and you have men that would do the same thing. That would try to stir up men against you. To cast out your name as evil, but when you do that, that's when certain men that are spiritual, they're going to say, well, I want to really, really see what's going on, and they find out, hold on a minute. No, he ain't, as, he ain't as bad as men saying he's as bad as could be. Okay, that's why you always got to look at both sides of everything. Okay, and my whole thing if a man's wicked, the Lord's gonna get him out of there anyway. Okay, and stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. Here's this, the, the, the elders and the scribes again. The elders and the scribes again, scheming on Stephen. First it was Yahweh, and now with Stephen, and came upon him and caught him, grabbed him, and brought him. So these were aggressive men as well, carnal. Okay, because you've got men watch, watching our videos, gnashing their teeth. Okay. In, in a dark room somewhere and brought him to the council again what why does that word always push you, you hear Pharisee and you always hear council they had council that means they had a council is men and a council they had buildings they had buildings so the Pharisees they had buildings that were rented out they already what basically they were under what that, that charter Esau gave them councils to them them synagogues because the council also is what a synagogue okay and again, and set up false witnesses 
So it says to set up. So again, same thing's going to happen. And again, in this truth, you're going to have those that what? Men that set up false witnesses. You may have men that are ring on the phone to other men. Would you do this for us? Would you try and catch him up? Would you put... It? Bro, don't you know Yahweh Shai? Man, that's why you got to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And set up false witnesses. So these men were set up against Stefan. False. So if something's false, it's not true. Okay? And there's no lie that is of the truth. And the truth is 100%. So if you're a man of truth, why would you need to set up false witnesses? <laughs> Which said, this man sees if not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Yahweh of Nazareth shall destroy this place. And that's what we're teaching. We're teaching that Yahweh is going to destroy this place. So you've got agent provocateurs out there that are going to try to what? To demonize us. And that's what, that, the word devil, it means deceiver slanderer a culminator one who acts on the side of the devil okay so get ready for these things and shall change the customs which moses delivered us but that wasn't true at all okay but the thing is true yahushua is coming to destroy this place and we do teach that okay that's what we teach at great millstone okay and why would you have a why would you have a problem with that because you, you're upholding this kingdom okay and it says, okay, bear me just a minute. And it says, and all that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Okay. They knew the spirit was dealing with him. Like a face of an angel. Why? Because wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. And basically he was cutting him with the scriptures. And what happened to Stephen? He was stoned, but he, he, he was still he was still in the spirit. Okay, bear me just a minute. Let's go straight to um. Let's go straight to it. Act seven. And let's start at fifty-one. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart. So you could be uncircumcised in the flesh. Okay. But still a righteous man. Because not every brother in his faith is circumcised, even though it is important to be circumcised. Okay? And there's health benefits to that as well. Okay. But there's men that are circumcised. Okay. But they don't but they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They're circumcised, but they don't have the fear of Yahweh Shai. They're circumcised, but they don't have the understanding of Yahweh Shai. So there's what a one thing being circumcised in the flesh and circumcised in the heart. You want to be circumcised in the heart. Okay. And as, okay, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. So you have men that are going to resist what? The words of Yahweh Shai. And as your fathers did. Why? Because their fathers did. Going back to reincarnation, so do ye. So those that fathers resisted the Holy Spirit, they're going to be doing the same thing. Which of your prophets have not, have, have your, have not your fathers persecuted? Okay, and have they slain, killed, which, bear me just a minute, and they have slain, which show before of the coming of the just one, Yahweh Shai, and that's all we're here to do, okay, show you the coming of Yahweh Shai, a lot of men are not speaking of the coming of the return of Yahweh Shai, they're speaking about all this other stuff, you know, yeah, get, get a brilliant job, more opportunities, you know, build up a business, bro, because, he, you, see, these individuals was, was speaking about the same stuff. We're not trying to uphold this world. You can find a better job. Cool, yeah, but this world's going down. Okay. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. So there's those that are betrayers. Okay. So you don't have one Judas. You have many. And murderers. Murderers of who? The prophets. Who have received the law by disposition of angels and have not kept it because they were not keeping the laws. That's why they were hypocrites because they were saying to others, keep the law. That's why I don't push that spirit. I tell, yeah, I tell you, I, you, you've heard me on videos saying keep the law to the best of your ability. But don't, don't, 
try to hold yourself to a standard if you're holding yourself to a particular standard Salaka, Salaka If you're holding others to a particular standard You better make sure you're keeping that same standard Okay If you're holding them to that particular standard That you're telling them to do you got to hold them to that standard Because if you don't That would make you a hypocrite Okay A, a man's got to do a what? An hour, two hour long On, on what, what a hypocrite is It's simple you just go into a few scriptures and go into Matthew 23. Okay. Go into Matthew 23 and they talk about the hypocrisy. Okay. And it says, You have not kept the law by dispensation of angels, they have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. So why would they be cut to the heart? Because it applied to them. Okay. And they gnashed upon him with his teeth. You got men that watch your videos and they'll be doing this with their teeth. You know, because the spirit of Satan is on them, that's why. Okay? And they they were cut to the heart and they gnashed upon him with their teeth. And gnashing upon someone with your teeth is a sign of that you want to do someone harm. Okay? I said, Behold, I have I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand side of the Most High. Okay, Yahweh Shai. When they cried out with a loud voice. And stop with their ears, they put their hand on their ears. Okay, I've even seen that. There's men that even come to camp. I've even seen individuals that come to camp and do the same thing. I've seen individuals that come to camp that go like that with their ear. Okay, and go like this as well. Okay, because this word has no place in them. But guess what? All things need to be fulfilled. This is part of prophecy. Okay. And stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord like brute beasts. Ran upon him. Ran upon him. They could not contain that demonic energy that was in them. They could not restrain themselves and cast him out of the city. Okay. And stoned him. And witnesses laid down their clothes. So they stoned him. Okay. And witnesses laid down what? Their clothes at the young man's feet whose name was Sal. Okay, which is what Paul, because Paul was Paul was there.